All right, hey. So the uh, team has asked me to shoot a video to let everybody know that um, we're hiring. Um, by we, I mean both 4.0 Solutions and Intellic Integration, really Intellic Integration. I wanted to answer a couple of questions. We've gotten lots of people who have reached out and asked questions like, hey, what is it like to work at Intellic or 4.0? Well, you, know, um, you know, how much do you get paid? What are the benefits? What are the work hours like? All that kind of stuff. So I'm going to answer all those questions. I'm going to tell you the, the two positions that we're currently actively recruiting for. Okay. Um, position number one is we want to add another solutions architect. So in the, in the old world, that would be um, the old systems integrator model that would be uh, senior engineer does applications engineering. Okay, so solutions architect is going to design industry 4.0 solutions. Uh, they're going to be the point person. The solutions architect generally has developers underneath them who are implementing the, the solution through the iterations. Um, the, the, ideally, the a solutions architect is going to come out of our um, they would have completed step one of our mentorship program and they would have been part of the, the mastermind program, that, that type of um, experience. But these are people who are going to be able to design, uh, architect, uh, quote, and support the implementations of proof of concepts and later industry 4.0 integrations. Secondly, we're looking for uh, mid-level or senior engineers to be added to a, a third team. So a third team of engineers that will have a solutions architect and at least two engineers underneath that architect working um, on industry 4.0 solutions, all right, through the iterative process that we teach. So those are the roles that we're looking for right now. Um, I'm gonna answer the questions about, you know, um, pay and all that stuff. So first, uh, what's the difference between 4.0 solutions and Intellic integration? I, I work at 4.0. I'm the president at 4.0 Solutions and I'm a solutions architect at 4.0 Solutions. Uh, we do all of the education and outreach and we do the DTMAs and we own all the products. So all the products are owned through 4.0 Solutions, all the stuff that we use, okay, to help solve problems. I'm also the chairman of the board at Intellic Integration and Intellic is the, the full service systems integrator, the industry 4.0 integrator, okay. Um, whether you work at Intellic or where you work at 4.0 Solutions, um, uh, the philosophy on pay, the philosophy on benefits, all that stuff's exactly the same, all right? So, you know, what is it like working at 4.0? Let's start with, or at, at, at either of those companies. We'll start with compensation. Our strategy is to pay in the 90th percentile. We want everyone to be right around the 90th percentile for their, their job, okay? Um, and that's total compensation. So if you take a look at, say, systems integrators right now, uh, a senior systems integrator is going to make um, total compensation should be somewhere around um, 135000 not including taxes that you're going to pay on that person. So their personal time, their salary, uh, and all their benefits should be in that $135,000, $145,000 range. That's your top level. Um, and that's going to grow and that's going to scale all the way down to say 90,000, give or take, not on the senior side, but any, any integrator. So your, you know, integrators should be making total compensation somewhere between 80, 80 and 90,000 on the bottom end and 130, 140,000 on the top end. Um, our top of the top people their total compensation is worth somewhere between 170 and 180,000. So um, everybody gets uh, a base salary. So um, you know if you're a you know if you're a, a an architect or a, a senior, that's going to be a six figure base salary. You're going to get um, production bonus. So basically, every engineer or architect gets paid for the projects they're on. So. Um, you know, we, the way the company is designed, it's designed to funnel as much money back to the team as humanly possible. Okay. Um, and so they get a, a, an, a, basically a bonus, a production bonus that's paid once per month. That's based on, um, the, the, the hours that they worked the previous month on their projects. Okay. Um, we pay 3% automatically into your 401k after six months. So we don't do a match, we just pay it. So whether you 
whether you contribute to the 401k or not, we we put 3% in the 401k of your of your salary. So that's um, salary plus your bonus. Um, we have a three-tiered healthcare plan. So we have a HSA level, we have a, and then we have a silver PPO, we have a gold PPO. Um, our HR company tells us that what we pay for individual or um, families is in the very upper echelons. In fact, uh, the, the HR company that we use to handle all of our payroll and everything told us that you know, we're in the you know, 95th percentile in terms of what we're contributing to other people's health care plan, to the team's health care plans. So uh, our 401k is, so automatic 3% uh, is contributed to your 401k, plus you get, uh, we have our health care plan. We have, we pay the basic life insurance, um, basic um, long-term disability or a short-term disability. Uh, we pay the short, the, the basic disabilities, and then there are obviously upgrades that you can do. Uh, everybody, I think, can do their life insurance up to five times their salary. I, I don't know all the details, but... Um, we have life insurance, long-term, short-term disability, uh, dental. Um, we have 11 paid holidays per year, um, and which is more than the average. And we generally end up taking an extra week uh, that the company pays for. So most of the time, it ends up being like eight, um, 18 or uh, 16 days for uh, that is uh, basically holiday time. So sometimes that's the week of 4th of July. We'll just take off and employees don't have to take off, take the vacation time or anything. And, or we do it the week between Christmas and New Year's. We try to do that. Some years we actually do it both. It just depends on, you know, workload. Um, we, uh, everybody gets two weeks paid vacation to start plus one week PTO. Um, so they get 15 days there plus the 11 holidays. That's 26 paid days off. And most of the time that ends up being in the lower 30s, uh, so th you know, 30 to 33 days, if we decide to take the extra, the extra time off. Um, so that's on the compensation side. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. I didn't write any notes down, so I'm, I'm explaining it off the top of my head. Um, all right, travel. Um, we allow our engineers to. If you travel, we we have a standard for being able to fly first class. So um, you know, we don't make people fly coach. I think that's absolutely fucking ridiculous. Coach sucks. So we allow, we have a mechanism to allow people to fly business class or first class, business class internationally or first class. And it's, and it's basically if, if you can upgrade into first class or into business class for a certain percentage. So that is if it's less than X percent off the, the standard fare, then you, you're allowed to upgrade. Okay. So that's 30%. So if, if my first class ticket would cost me less than a 30% increase from the standard fare, then I can go ahead and, and do the upgrade and the company pays for that. Um, we, uh, what are the working conditions like, right? We, we, you know, listen, integration's hard. So we do the worst projects at the worst time of the year. Um, you know, the, the worst projects at the worst time of the year, um, you know, in the worst environments, generally. We're actually lucky in industry 4.0, vast majority of the work is remote. I would say 90%. Most integrators ask for people to travel up to 50%. I, I mean, that just is unheard of. Uh, most of our engineers travel less than one week per year. Um, we are a small team. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a family. Part of what we create, you know, we create this industry 4.0 community because we are very, very selective about who we add to our team. Okay, um, if you work for other integrators and then you come work here, a couple of things stand out. Many things stand out, actually. Um, but the, the biggest one that stands out is how low our turnover is. So um, I remember I worked for um, another integrator earlier in my career, and it was amazing to me. Uh, I remember that on my first day of work, there was like 22 engineers working in cubicles in this one room. And a year later, I was the only person out of the 22 who still worked there. Um, the turnover was that high. And, that, and that's normal across integrators. Normally, it's the higher you move up the chain, the lower the turn, turnover is. But it is very, very common for those, you know, it's very, very common for integrators to bring an engineer in for one project and drop them afterwards. Or hire somebody, they're there six months and they're gone. That happens all the time. 
Integrators spend a lot of money on recruiters, a lot. Um, okay, uh, we don't have set hours. So um, people have very, um, you know, you sort of make your own hours. Now, you know, we have standard business hours, Monday through Friday, you know, and uh, uh, eight to five or seven to five, I can't remember what it is, but um, people make their own hours. You know, the, you, we're professionals, so people have responsibilities. They got projects they got to deliver. Um, and you know, they've got meetings they got to get to. They, and so we have people who start later in the day and, and work late into the day. And we got people who start really, really early and leave early. And we, you know, if, if people need to take three hours in the middle of the day, because, um, you know, you gotta take their kids somewhere or whatever that happens all the time. So, um, we, you know, we don't have set hours. We don't track people's hours other than for billing purposes. So, um, it's a very, relaxed work environment because we work on really, really difficult projects. Okay. Um, and then the last thing is, you know, what type of people do we have here? Um, what type of people work at 4.0 and in Intellic Integration? Well, we're, we are a mission-based organization that's built on five core values of transparency, authenticity, expertise, humility, servant leadership. That's really how we work. Um, it is very hard for people when they first start here. Transparency, transparency is probably the biggest adjustment. Um, it takes a while to get used to the, the real free exchange of ideas and no politics. And hey, if, you know, if I do a great job, I'm going to get praise. And if I fuck up, the whole team's going to tell you you fucked up. I mean, um, you know, we don't, we don't live in a world where our clients can afford for us to make mistakes and sweep it under the rug. Okay. So um, there's no, we don't have political infighting here. I mean, that's probably another thing that most people are not used to when they come here. We don't have, you know, these two people talking behind this person's back. All of that stuff is thrown out in the front. So when there's an issue, we address it head on as a team. We make mistakes as a team. We learn as a team. Um, there's a lot of freedom, a lot. Um, extrinsically mo or intrinsically motivated people who are innovators, who are values based, who have a history of snatching victory from the jaws of defeat and want to work on bleeding edge projects. That is test new technologies and work on bleeding edge projects. That's the, those are the people who belong here. Um, we are, he we're headquartered in Dallas, but um, n more than half of our team is located in other places in the in the country and in the world, actually. So um, the vast majority of people, you know, live outside of Dallas. So there's no need for someone to be here. Ideally, it would be somebody in Dallas. Um, especially our our board of directors would like to have. We have two art solutions architects here in Dallas. Um, we'd like to have another one um, that's specifically in Dallas because we you know we do meet so much. But anyway. I wanted to answer, I wanted to take an opportunity to say, hey, listen, we are looking for people. Um, we are hiring. Um, it's a rigorous process. Um, the, we're looking for the right values and attitude more than we are looking for this, the right skills. Um, although, obviously, there are skills that are prerequisites because we need people who can, you know, hit the ground running. I wanted to answer the questions on our pay, our benefits. Um, you know, across the board, our goal is to pay in the 90th percentile or above across um, our industry. You know, we want to have the best benefits. We want to. We want people to be paid the most. You know, we don't have people leaving because they don't get paid enough. We don't have people leaving because they're not satisfied with the benefits, or they don't feel like they have enough time off. That's not a problem we have. Um, and so, that being said, though, every single person here earns every penny they make. There isn't anyone here who thinks, um, yeah, I didn't earn that. <laughs> okay. So anyway, if you are interested, you can um, reach out to contact at IntelliCintegration.com or reach out to us on um, LinkedIn or Discord. Um, if you know somebody who's interested, if you know somebody who might be a good fit, forward this video on to them, have them take a look, see if we're right for them. And then if, if, they, if they think we're right for them, then let's have a conversation and see if they're right for our family. All right, appreciate it. Take it easy. Peace out.